G'day guys, back again. Seems like we've got a bunch of Commodores in today, but we've got an 05 VZ uh, V8. You can hear it running and it's idling like a like a beast. It's got an ABS light stuck on. We're doing the scan with the Zenith, so let's just bring up the airflow sensor. Yeah, whatever, we're not worried about that. What we're looking at there, BCM, ABS data lost, ABS data lost. It's from a panel. No serial data from ABS, no serial data from audio system so sorry about the shaking camera but this car's shaking pretty badly when it's idling uh, i'm gonna go look up the codes on the system and let's see what we get first thing we need to do is get out the network diagram and as you can see we have a vehicle area network of van type system on this which is a zero to five volt uh, signal and what we can see here is that we've got our DLC connected straight to the ABS module and we know that that's working okay. ABS module's fine, our powers and grounds are fine because we can talk to the ABS module directly, but these two modules can't talk to the ABS module. So obviously we want to look at this wire here and make sure there's no broken wire. Is our ABS you know, communicating this way and it's not reaching these modules? Is there a broken wire? Are these two modules communicating this way and the ABS module is not responding? So the way we do that is just get the scope out and obviously we just hook up the scope to that output wire of that ABS module there. All right, we found our green and yellow, green and white, whatever it is, we found our wire. We're hooked up with the U-scope, so let's turn it on. I haven't got the key on, but we'll see if our body control module is getting some signals or whatever else. Let's have a look, see what we get. Okay, we got a signal. Let's just increase that time base a little bit. Decrease it so we can see better. So I'm gonna go and turn the key on, see if that makes a difference. Little bit more activity but now we because we've got that signal there how do we know if the abs module is sending that and we've got a broken wire to the body control module or if the body control module is sending this to the abs and the abs is not responding the way to do it uh, is disconnect this plug and that obviously leaves that wire intact with the body control module and the instrument panel and if we're still getting that same signal then we can pretty safely assume that the ABS module is not responding. So let me get a screwdriver, something I prepared earlier. Okay, so we are completely unplugged and our signal is still there. So pretty safe to assume that we've got a faulty ABS control module, which is pretty normal on these things. So speak to the customer and we'll find out what we can do. Okay, so a few weeks later, we've got some sort of skanky looking second-hand rusted out piece of crap second-handy, but uh, we just want to get this car going. So this is the one, all we really need to do, because obviously communication starts straight away as soon as we put the key on. Just taking my glove off. Um, we can see that when we actually turn the key on to this one, see the ABS just to key in the on position obviously communication is going right away ABS module goes out and then the light comes back on straight away because it registers no communication back so all we have to do is we're just going to go into the bonnet just to confirm a thousand percent before we actually install this to make sure this one's working just sit it in there plug it in let's come back over here we won't need to clear the codes I don't think we'll just turn the key on and if it recognises communication and it's getting a communication back to those modules, then the light won't come back on. So let's test the theory out. All right, we're plugged in. So let's go and have a look. Alrighty. Key on, ABS light on, ABS light off in a second. System check. Okay, all done, no fault. So we were definitely right about that uh, ABS module. Now it's communicating. I'm not going to put the scope back on. We know that it's it's going to have a little bit more communication going both ways now, but we know that that's what's going on with it. So we're just going to fit this module up. Uh, I'll get it in and test it up. We'll go for a road test, make sure all is good, and I'll get you back. We'll co scan it again and make sure no codes come back. 
Right, uh, we are clearing the codes now as we speak. We've got our junk looking module connected up and we're going to go for a drive and obviously test it all, make sure we had to do a brake fluid bleed, make sure there's uh, no leaks or anything like that. And then we'll recheck for codes and go from there. No light on while driving, so that's good so far. We'll just head back and we will check for codes in the body control module and the instrument panel again and go from there. Alright, we're back. No light on. So like I said, let's go into these two systems. Instrument, DTC, analysis. As you can see, we've got no ABS code, but we've got the serial data from audio system, which we know we're not worried about because we've got an aftermarket stereo. So that is the instrument panel. Let's go to body control module. DTC analysis, no DTCs, no light on, all good, all fixed. Another network problem solved. Thanks for watching guys, hope that helps.